Hi, my name is Mark. I'm with Advanced Test Equipment. Today we're covering the Dranex PX5-XFast power quality meter and monitor. This unit can do measurements at 50 and 60 Hz. We also carry the PX5-400 for measurements up to 400 Hz. The accessories include the power adapter, 8 voltage test leads, 8 alligator clips, and 4 jumpers. There are several types of current probes available for this unit. Today, we're using the Dranich 3000 amp flex probes. We hook up our current probes to our load and hook up our voltage leads. I'm going to hook up my A, B, C, and neutral current probes. And my A, B, C, neutral, and ground voltage leads. And we have to make sure we set our current probes properly. This is a manual set, which we will set to 30 amps. The unit boots to the default screen. It's a touch screen, and we can hit any of the buttons to go to scope mode, meter mode, etc. The small writing on the top shows the monitoring status so we can tell when our unit is monitoring. The first thing we're going to do is go to setup. From here we can do automatic setup or load setups from save files. Today we'll be using the setup wizard. Now we're on the current probe screen. I'm going to hit set identical as I'm using four probes that are the same. Hit change. I scroll down to my probes. and Today I'm using the 3000 XL in the 30 amp range. I hit OK. I hit Next. I can set my volts and amps factor, scale factors. Today I'm using 1 to 1. And on this screen, I can set my circuit type. I'm using 3 phase WYE. And here you can check and make sure your current and voltage are OK, and that your sequence is OK. You can also use scope and phasor to see a vector diagram. From here we hit next, we have our nominal values, and from the mode of operation menu we can set the XFAST to either meter mode with no recording or set up to monitor. We're going to set up to monitor, then we hit next. On this screen we can select our monitoring mode, there's various types, I'm using standard power quality. We hit next again, we get advanced options. From here we can modify our various limits. Hit next again. And from the memory card screen, it shows our memory card, allows us to format the SD card. If you do this, the memory will be erased. We can look at our memory card contents, and we are set with everything. We hit finish to start recording. And then you hit start now. And now we can see our monitoring test on the top is red, it says armed. It is now recording. It's monitoring set is on. You can hit scope, meter, or any of the buttons to look at the live monitoring. Here's our scope. To stop monitoring, we hit stop. Then we can hit stop now, abort, or view present setup. I'm doing stop now. And using the reports button, we can look at the EN 5160 or hit status to look at your various statuses. Now, the next step is to use our DranView software to grab our data from the Dranets and put it to your PC. So we have our DranView software CD, our security dongle, and our SD card reader, which we're going to hook to our USB port of our computer. And in the bottom left hand side of the equipment, there's a port for the SD card. You have to remove the SD card to get your data. And you insert the SD card into the SD card reader. You can tell you're connected by the flashing blue light. If you have two open USB ports, you can hook up the dongle and the SD card reader at the same time. I only have one, so I download my data first, and then I hook up the dongle to the USB port. And from here, I can access my data. And once your data is uploaded, you can look at each individual event or recording at the Dranix. So on the far left, there's the time plots in the middle. On the right is the event details. It shows the waveforms.